Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to Live Fulfilled. If you're new here, my name's Megan and I make videos every single week about travel, minimalism, intentional living, uh, how to try not to ruin the planet and just pretty much how to live a happy and fulfilling life. Just, you know, to do what makes you happy. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when I upload new videos. So today's video is going to be another product review. So once again, like basically if I'm reviewing a product, it's because I can't find product, like I can't find reviews on this product. And so I want to share what it's all about because I feel like if you're gonna be purchasing or making a purchase, you know, no matter how big or how small, that you should do it with intention and you should make sure that what you're buying, you're actually gonna like and use because if not, it's like a waste of resources, it's a waste of space to keep the product and it's a waste of money and we don't like wasting around here. So because of this, I'm going to be reviewing the Gonix Electronics Cube, um, or Electronics Organizer. I'm calling it an Electronics Cube, but this is, this, this guy is what I'm actually going to be reviewing. So I was looking at a way to store like my electronics for travel, although this would actually be a great way to do it at home. I, however, bought it specifically for traveling to keep all of my wires and just like little bits and bobs and things that could potentially get lost safe and compact into one space. So why why this cube specifically let me tell you so there are a ton of different electronic cubes out there and i actually did a lot of research on them before i purchased this one because like i said if i'm gonna buy something i'm gonna you know i, I do it with intention um i decided to go with this one for a few reasons um one because so i went with like the single layer one you can buy like really thick ones but i didn't want a thick one because you know i mean i do have to be conscious of space and obviously i don't have a lot of space you know in like my suitcase so i don't want like my packing, you know, like my electronics cube to take up a lot of space. So I went with the skinny one. I went with the Gonex brand because I actually have a day pack by this brand. It's like a collapsible one that folds up into itself. It's super nice and it's lasted me like three or four years. And so I knew at least, you know, one product from that brand's good. So why not try another one? And then I went with black specifically because everything like that I buy for travel is going to be like dark blue, black, or like dark gray um just because I like to blend in like when you're traveling at least in my opinion it's not a good idea to like be screaming like I'm a tourist look at me because you know I mean at the end of the day it doesn't matter where you go people are going to try to take advantage of tourists and you could you know people like to try to rob tourists too um you know, I just, I like to blend in. I think the black's a good idea. I also like the black because, you know, if I ever had to pull it out somewhere, it's not like shiny. It's not gonna like catch people's attention. So they'd be like, ooh, what's that? You know, it's just, it's just a black case. So onto the electronics cube itself. So it has this back like handle strap thing. Um, if you wanted to carry it like that, I, however, just carry it in my bag itself. Um, and then also on the back, it has a pocket. So what I use this pocket for is to store receipts when I'm traveling because I like to keep all my receipts because some stuff I can write off as business expenses and then even if it's just like a personal expense, I like to know what I spend, where I spend. Like I try to keep like really good track of my money. It's just a, it's just a good habit to get into, trust me. <laughs> um, and so because of that, I just put all my receipts in here because it's just like a, it's like, it, I mean, I don't have anything else to put in here and I don't have anywhere else to put my receipts. So there we go, it is perfect. And then you open it up and it looks like this. So it's got like a place, like all like the elastics on this side and then like pockets and zip pockets on the other side. So I'm just going to start with what I have in this side first. Um, they have actually on this, which I don't have in here, but these little tiny pockets, um, like on Amazon, it showed that these are for SD cards, but I actually have my, where is it? I actually have my Pelican case um, that I store all my SD cards in and it's like, I don't know, they say you can run this over with a car and like your SD cards will survive. So I'm, you know, I this is what I put my SD cards in, but if you didn't have a case or needed a spot to store your SD cards, you could store them right here. I, on the other hand, I just leave them empty. So right here is where I store my cords. So 
next one's trying to fall out on me. So there's eight different elastics. Um, I only have four cords that I need to store here, which works. Um, and so I just use like both elastics for one cord. However, if you wanted to, if you needed more cords, you could get like, you could, you know, pull it down one cord here and then you could store another cord up top here. So just the cords that I have in here that I, I take with me. I have my iPad charger, my Apple Watch charger, my cell phone charger. So this one's not always in here, depending on like how, you know, dead my phone battery is. This one actually may just be in my bag so I can pull it out and charge it when I need to. But when I'm storing it, I do store it in here. And then the other thing I have in here is a micro USB charger. This one is for my son's tablet and then also my headphones, like my wireless headphones. Oh, and then I also use like the iPad charger for my AirPods. So basically, in short, I have two of like the lightning chargers, one Apple Watch charger and one micro USB charger. And then in this little pocket right here, I keep this adapter. So this is a mm -hmm, USB-C to USB because the Macs don't have USB. So I have a USB-C to a USB adapter. So I have to keep this adapter with me um, if I want to use anything that's a USB. And even if I don't plan on using a USB, it never hurts to have a USB just because I just generally, I mean, USB-C is starting to become more popular and standard, but I mean, when in doubt, you could probably find like a USB easier than USB-C, you know. So I keep that in there. Um, the next thing I keep in this little pocket is actually a thumb drive. Um, these are just, once again, something good to have. I don't honestly really use this. I've had to use this a few times. Um, so like one time I was in Belize and I needed to print like some papers off. And so I had to like take the files from my my computer and put them on a thumb drive and take them into the place to get it printed because like, I don't know, like they wouldn't just let me email them and print them themselves. It was this thing, but ever since that like experience, I learned the value of a thumb drive. And so now I just always keep it with me. And then the last thing that I keep in this pocket are these like cord wire containers. So when I'm actually using these cords, I got four of them. Um, when I'm like using these cords, like my watch, for example, like my watch charger, you know, I'll plug it into the wall, but if I don't need this whole entire cord out wiggling, jiggling like that, wiggling, jiggling, <laughs> if I don't need like my, like the length of my full cord, I'll actually just like roll it up. I'm sorry, my furnace just clicked on, but I keep like stopping recording this video to wait for the furnace to click off and I'm just gonna try to talk over the furnace. Hopefully it's not too loud in the background, but yeah. So if I don't need the whole length of the cord, I'll just go like this just to kind of keep them organized. And so that is why I have those in there. And that is all that's on this first side. And then we get into the next side. And on this side I have, so this pocket perfectly fits the MacBook charger. Just like, it, I mean, honestly it was probably designed for it. Like that's how good it fits into it. It just, it's perfect. And then in here I have the head for my iPad charger. I also have the head for the charger. This is what I use, like this is the head I use with my micro USB. So then in this area, I actually don't put anything in there. I just haven't found anything that I needed to put in there. However, it does perfectly fit an SSD drive. So if you have like a SSD, it goes in there. Like once again, I'm sure it was designed just for that. However, I have like this protective case for my SSD. Um, and so because of that, I keep it in this case and I just travel with this case. I mean, it's just kind of like these. It's yes, it's two extra things that in all reality, I actually probably don't need to carry because I could get the items into here, but the protection of my items is important to me. So that's why I will, you know, give up the space for these. But yeah, so if you have an SSD, that's what will fit here. I just don't put mine in there and I just don't put anything else in there. So then the next thing that I have here this is just like a little area, one of these. So you could actually even fit like the thumb drive here if you wanted to. But I actually have my SD card adapter because once again, the Macs only have USB-C. So I have to carry this little adapter around for my SD cards and that is what I put there. And then in this, this is actually 
worked out perfectly. So this is a case that like an SD card came in. Oh my goodness, is what this case is. However, I put the little charger adapter thingy maker in for my Apple Pencil. And it fits, so I put the little adapter into here so it doesn't get lost because I don't even know if you can buy these and replace these, but I don't want to find out. And I, I think it's so ridiculous to like charge your Apple Pencil as it's like sticking out from your iPad. Like, I don't know, I don't like that. So that goes in there and that actually just fits perfectly right there. And then the last pocket in this organizer is where I store my actual charger for my laptop. So this is like the actual like cord for the laptop. So this is what connects to like this. And so that's where that cord lives. And then also in this pocket, I have the two heads for my, one for my phone charger and then one for my, I, no, phone charger, Apple Watch charger. And then I also have one more of like these like, like cord, cord organizers um, for this cord if I want to wind it up and clip it. So that is everything that I keep in this camera cube. I, like I said, it can hold more than I actually have in it. You could eat, you know, there's all the spots for the SD cards. You could get an SSD in here. You could get realistically like at least four more cords up here. I just, I don't have that many items, so I don't, you know, I don't pack it like that, but you could if you had more stuff. I li I'm glad that I got the thin one. I was like, I was worried that the charger, like the MacBook charger wouldn't fit in here, but it's definitely a snug fit. And you know, I mean, you couldn't have like something bulky right above it. I, that's why I just put like all of like these things that are pretty small, but it does, it works. I, I'm glad I got the size that I did. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for some way to keep your electronics organized and safe while you're traveling or even at home. This is, this is definitely a good product to have. So that is all you guys I think I have to say about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you are so ready to get traveling like I am, you know, also give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, like, where's the first place you're gonna go once things are like safe and open again? Like where's the first place you're going? Because I would be very, very interested in knowing. Um, I actually had this packed because we uh, kind of like, my house tried catching on fire. It didn't, luckily I was like sitting in front of the outlet as it started to smoke. Um, and so like it jumped up, called the fire department, got the like the power turned off. It was fine, but we didn't have electricity. And so because of that, I had to go and get a hotel room. And so I got to actually go somewhere, which I literally went 10 minutes away from my house. But you know what? It was so nice to like, just not be in my house, you know, because I'm usually not in my house as much as I am. Um, but yeah, and that's actually why I had this packed. And then I've been wanting to do this video anyways. So I was like, yeah, that's, that's perfect timing. So I'm gonna stop rambling now so I don't talk forever and an eternity. Like I said, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Oh, and also, if you are not subscribed to my newsletter yet, I completely redid it, I revamped it, like I'm in love with my newsletter. So make sure you go and you subscribe to the newsletter. When you subscribe, you get a printable of 25 journaling prompts. And then I also send out printables at the last Sunday of every single month. And then I send out the newsletters on Sundays. And so every Sunday it's a newsletter and it's just like content that I don't necessarily share anywhere else. And, and like I talk about like five magic moments that, you know, are just little things that's happened to me this week that I'm grateful for because I think we should always be like expressing gratitude. And I'm really actually like, I'm really proud of it. So go, go subscribe to the newsletter if you have not already. And then subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye.